Hi, Juan from Hazman Music. You want to play some Spanish guitar? Well, you stay right there, amigo, and don't go away. Ah, you come back again, my amigo. Well, thanks for staying. It's John from Hazman Music. We're going to do some instant Spanish guitar. Just add agua. Okay, this is um, something I've got requested for for my nephew. He wanted uh, to, to, to play some sort of dramatic Spanish scales and get that flamenco effect. And I thought, well, while I'm here, I'm doing this for, for him, why not do it for you? So, here we go, guys and girls. Time-honored way, first fret, second fret, third fret, and so on. Hopefully you're reading tabs by now, and I'm gonna go straight into this, no messing. I'm starting with a little run. This is a Spanish guitar scale. If you know a little bit about Scales, you'll know that that is just basically a C major scale. All the notes of a C major scale, natural notes, but starting from the note E. Okay, um, I'll get into that in more detail another time for people a little bit more advanced. But if you just want to just play this and get a practical, dramatic effect, you're going to impress a lot of people playing this sort of scale. This, uh, if you rip through this scale at a fair speed, it sounds really dramatic and it makes you sound like you've been uh, playing. Uh, having lessons from some great, great master of flamenco in Andalusia, or Jose, uh, he say. Anyway, <laughs> what the heck am I on about? Here we go, zero, open, first, third. So that's open, first, third on the six or E string. And then going open, two, three. Finger per fret rule, what I mean by that is any, any note on the first Fret use your first finger, any note on the second fret use your third, second finger, and any note on the third uh, fret use your third finger. Can't go wrong. So let's start again. Open, first, three. Open one, two, th open one, three. Next one. Fifth string or A string, open, two, three. Fourth string, open, two, three. Third string, open, two. Then Open one three. Really? Open one three. Okay, I've just portioned these into little bits so it's easy to read. They're not really bars. Now I'm going up up as one string, ascending up the string. I'm going after three I'm going I'm going five, seven, eight, ten, twelve. And I'm just using my third finger on that. Five, seven, eight. 10, 12, double dot 12, okay, and I play an E chord, so if I play the whole scale it's open 1, 3, open 2, 3, open 2, 3, open 2, open 1, 3, open 1, 3, 5, 7, 8, 10, 12, sounds very effective, followed by an E chord, okie doke, I'm going to play an A minor there, A minor chord, if you don't know that already, I've checked it out. I've written them down here. That's an A minor. Okay. And I'm following this by a little simple run on the scale. And I'm going to open, open, one, three, one, open. Which is open, no frets. One, three, one, open. Followed by a G chord. And I'm going to open, one, three. This is what I played at in the introduction of, of the piece and followed by what I call a Spanish E. Right, what I call a Spanish E is basically doing an E chord but moving it up one fret. We've played it open with all these notes resounding 
you get this Spanish E sound. It sounds Spanish y. I don't know what it's really called, but it's very flamenco ish. Okay. And now, so that's the Spanish E. And then I'm just going down the scale again. So now I'm going down the, the second fret. Okay. Open on that song of the third string and going three, third fret on the fourth string, two open, three, two open, three, two open, and finally three, one open. Let me play that bit for you again. Two open, three, two open. Let me show you the fingering on that. Two open. And there's the tabs, okay? And followed by. A dramatic E chord. Now what I'm doing now, I'm venturing right up the scale, I'm starting on 12, 10, 8. What am I doing here? Let me just show you. I'm going on the 12th fret and I'm going to the 10th. I'm trying to use my third finger to my 10th, but I pull off. So a pull off is a downward, I pick, it, pick it once and downward drag in action, let it ping out and get that nice sound and I go to 8. So 12, 10, 8. Sounds like Figaro. Figaro. Okay. And then, then I follow that idea down exactly the same. 10, 8, 7. 10, 8, 7. So that's 10. Okay. So I've got 12, 10. Okay. And I follow that idea down. It sounds more difficult than what it is. Seven, seven, five, three. A seven, five, three. Five doesn't look very clear, but it's a five. And then five, three, one, zero. And then I go into a Spanish strum. Then I go into this strumming. I go to E, Spanish E, which is what. Remember, E moved up one fret. Back to E, A minor, G, Spanish E and an E to finish, E to finish here. So what does that mean? So I'm going E, click it out, two, three, four, strum, strum, strum. I go down, down, up, up, down, and move to Spanish E, move it up the, back to E, go to an A minor, G, Spanish E. Ole. There you have it. Check out the intro again. And uh, that's basically, that's where I've played. And go through the lesson again if need to be. If you want the tabs for this, I'm going to do this as a freebie at a limited time. So, uh, see how we get on. So, I'll just uh, zoom this out a little bit. And you can take a, put it on pause. Put it on pause if you want. Or email me. So just send you uh, your email address don't forget to subscribe and uh, keep in touch and check out all my other lessons I've got hundreds of lessons, I've got music theory lessons I've got rock course lessons and uh, just keep in touch peace amigos